Hey guys, Long here, also known as Long the Panda. First off, I want to say sorry for the delay between the first video I filmed months ago and this video. Unfortunately, work just got way too swamped and I wasn't able to get around to pushing it out. I was hoping to make a little bit more fun content with all the subscription boxes I'm getting from Hot Ones, but to be honest, most of them are still in their packaging stuck to the side of my garage, but hopefully that's for another video. If you weren't able to check out the first video, a little bit about myself again is I work for a small camera accessory company called Custom SLR and I'm also a commercial photographer. The first bag I'm going to be talking about is my S-Top Dalton. It's one of my everyday carries. I tend to switch between this and a laptop bag depending what I need to bring. What I love about this bag is that it does fit my camera, I can bring a few lenses, fits my laptop and whatever I need. I also use it for my weekend getaways or long travels, doesn't matter. If it's clothes, toiletry, fits underneath the airplane seat in the overhead bin, I love this bag. Well, here it is, the brand new Diota bag by F-Stop. I received the Diota bag about two weeks ago and I've been using it every day. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying the bag. When you work in product design, you get a newfound appreciation on how well things are designed and made. And you can tell that a lot of thought and care went into designing this bag. The first thing you're gonna notice right away when you pull the bag out of the box is the material of the bag. It's a custom proprietary material that was made for F-Stop, has custom laminations in the front and back, it's water resistant. As we work our way around to the side of the bag, there's curved aqua guard zippers. This is something that they've been working on for the past two years, it's water resistant. Inside you can access the ICU, you can easily store your lenses, ICU gate, put anything that you don't want falling out. It has two memory card slots, also comes with this accessory pouch. I use this pouch to store batteries, dr uh, filters for my drone, Mavic Pro 2. It also has a clip on the top that you can attach to the bottom of your tripod or anything that would work for you. As we work our way to the front of the bag, there's a D-ring clip that secures the top of the bag to be moved away from a plastic buckle. Here you can access another pocket great for storing your keys, wallets, and if you want extra security, there's two additional uh, pockets inside with zippers. Great for storage. The zipper is also water resistant. As we work our way to the other side of the bag, you're gonna notice another curved aqua guard zipper. Open it up. You're gonna be able to access your camera. I was able to put my 5D Mark IV with two to three lenses, Sony R3. Also, these dividers can be adjusted to suit your needs. Here is another water resistant zipper that you can put your laptop, tablet, whatever that you may need in there. And here it has two additional pockets inside this laptop storage. The one thing I noticed right away when I put on the pack is how comfortable it was. Since I am a bigger guy and have broad shoulders, packs tend to sit a little differently on me and this pack felt really comfortable. I had it loaded down with two cameras, three lenses, Mavic Pro 2 water, and I was really amazed on how comfortable and I was pretty excited. The shoulder strap in the backpack are EVA molded foam and it has groove channels in the backpack for better airflow and ergonomics. This is probably what made it so comfortable to wear. The cool thing about the bag is they moved away from plastic buckles. They moved to aluminum D-rings, chest protector, and bottom adjustments for adjusting the bag to you. As we work our way back to the front of the bag, to access the top, you unhook the aluminum D-ring hook and unravel the top. And one of the unique features about this bag is there's no stitching at the top. They use a process called radial welding, and the reason for this is it helps create a better water-resistant bag. There are eight magnet tabs at the top, so when you do shut it, it will snap into place. There's another additional pocket inside the back for more storage. You can actually access your ICU by pulling it out, adjusting the dividers to what best suits you. They actually use, instead of using Velcro to put the ICU into place, they have magnets on them so when you push it in, it will snap into place. Close up the top, roll it down, apply the aluminum during hook. If you are a tripod user, What's cool is there are loops at the bottom of the bag with the use of gatekeepers. You can attach your tripod at the bottom. Pretty awesome bag in my opinion. There's a lot of really cool tech that went into it and it really shows with the unique material that they have. Using radial welding instead of stitching to make the pack even more water resistant. Having aluminum hardware, curved aqua guard zipper, the back panel that offers better airflow and ergonomics, and the use of magnets instead of Velcro. 
Well, there it is, the new data back from F-Stop. Pretty excited to know what your thoughts are. Please leave any comments or questions down below. You can find out more information about the bag at fstopgear.com. Should be available about mid-September. And just a side note, F-Stop Gear did not pay me to make this video. This is something I did for myself, even though I'm an ambassador for them. This is just something I'm trying to grow my channel, talk about gear, food, travel, and just do something that's a little out of my comfort zone. And like I said, even though I'm an ambassador for F-Stop, they did not pay me to make this video. This is just something I wanted to do for myself. Give me a follow at LN Photos on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe if you like what you see and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.